Delicious family and welcome back to the channel guys today we are going to do some oxtail and we are just going to go right ahead and start to clean our oxtail I have my vinegar here that I'm going to wash my meat there's not much fat on them guys so I'll just leave them as they are here are the ingredients that I'll be using So guys, I'll go ahead with some of my, a tablespoon of my green season mix. Paprika, some smoked paprika. Purple seasoning. Garlic powder. And add some onion mince. Black pepper. sauce soy sauce guys I'm also adding about a tablespoon of my Montreal steak seasoning you can add whatever season you have there guys go ahead and add my vegetable seasonings some garlics some thyme guys and our scotch bunny pepper time to rub in all of this niceness now guys working that seasoning into the meat Massage it, guys. I tell you, if this could be eaten just as it is, I'll tell you, it is smelling good. So, guys, we cover this and set it aside, allow it to marinate until we are ready to cook. So, guys, my oxtail was seasoned and has been marinated for a while. So, what I did, I separated my meat from my brown seasoning from my seasoning so I'm just going to go ahead and start to brown up my oxtail now guys so just watch the process <laughs> guys all of my oxtail is done browning up I took out some of the oil from my pot and I'm going to just now add the seasonings Up all that's nice is that what that was at the bottom there now I'm going to add my oxtail put back all of my meat in the pot guys I add about a cup of water to my seasoned pan and I'm going to just now add this to my oxtail give it a stir and allow it Going to cover that guys and allow it to cook and periodically I'll add water until my oxtail is tender and cooked guys it has been a little over an hour that my oxtail has been cooking 
I'm going to continue to add another cup of water to it and allow it to continue doing its thing. So add one more cup of water to it. It's actually not done cooking. Guys, my oxtail is still going at it. Still has not reached the tenderness that I want it to be. It is getting there. It has a few more laps to go, guys. Let us do a test here. Yes. It has a few more laps to go, guys. So I'm not, I will not rush it. I'll just allow it to take its time and get into its lane until it reaches the finish line. So guys, my oxtail is almost at the finish line, guys. It's coming around that curve, entering into the final lap. So let me give it a try. Check for the tenderness. Yes, guys. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to add a little ketchup to it. Not a lot, I don't want too much of the ketchup taste. This will look like about a tablespoon and a half of ketchup. That is enough. And I'm going to add my, my bean. I have a broad bean that I'm using. Broad bean, guys. So I'm going to just rinse my beans and pour it in my pot. Just give this a stir and allow my beans to soak up some of this nice and juicy oxtail gravy and allow everything to come to a simmer, guys. I'll see you at the finish line. Guys, my oxtail is done cooking. And look at this nice, thick, and juicy, mouth-watering and tasty gravy. My oxtail is done, guys. Very tender. Yep. So there you have it, guys my mouth watering fall off the bone of steel with beans broad beans that is so guys if you love this dish you can go ahead and subscribe to the channel guys i have served up my oxtail with some rice and peas some vegetables and fried plantain bon appetit guys bon appetit my freckleicious family Remember to turn your post notification bells on to see whenever I upload new videos, guys, and go ahead and enjoy today's meal. And remember to subscribe. And guys, as usual, I will see you in the next video.